Hi, my name is Dan Lucking and I'm with MMI. MMI is a company that develops techniques and solutions focused on single cell isolation for scientific research. With advances in science, many researchers have become interested in isolating single cells for their work. This video focuses on the isolation of fixed cells on slides using the MMI cell cut laser micro dissection system. So let's take a look. Before we get into the details of the cell cut system, let's start by defining what laser microdissection is for those of you who may be new to this area. Laser microdissection, or abbreviated LMD, is also known as laser capture microdissection. This is abbreviated LCM. And it is a method of isolating specific cells of interest from microscopic regions of tissues, cells, or organisms. A laser is coupled onto a microscope and focused onto a sample that is mounted onto a slide or perhaps a dish. Then either the sample or the laser is controlled to cut out an area of interest, a predefined area of interest, which is then collected for downstream use. As science evolves, researchers have new reasons for the need to isolate single and otherwise hard to isolate cells of interest for later study and experiments. Let's take a look at how the cell cut laser microdissection system works. So, the MMI cell cut LMD is built on an inverted research microscope. And by the way, even with the cell cut attached, a lab has the ability to use the microscope for other non-dissection applications, like bright field or fluorescence imaging. So, the cell cut system utilizes the optical path in the microscope to guide and focus the laser to the sample. The laser, a 355 nanometer UV laser, is focused through the microscope and ultimately the microscope's objective. The objective can be anywhere between a 4x and a 100x magnification. The size of the laser can be made very small with high power objectives. For instance, for very precise cutting work, the laser can be focused to 0.3 microns with a 100x objective. The sample is moved by a precise motorized microscope stage with a resolution of 150 nanometers. With the laser on the sample, it is moved to precisely follow the desired and already selected cutting line. The sample is then lifted off the slide with a special cap we'll discuss a little later. And we'll now take a look at a video at how this works. In this case, we see an end user using the system's touch screen and light guide pen to navigate the tissue mounted on the microscope stage to her left. We then see her decide on an area and circle it with the pen. You can also use your mouse to do this if you like. The selected area is the area to be cut. The line she drew is the cutting line the laser will trace. Now we'll see how the MMI cell cut quickly cuts two regions of interest from the tissue. You'll see it is very fast. We'll take one more look at that. Then, in this video, we see the same type of line being drawn, but this time we're using the computer's mouse. The system then begins to cut with the 355 nanometer UV laser. And by the way, we use the 355 laser as it is powerful enough to cut most samples and even if it, the sample is thick, we have a method to address this. We'll cover this later in the presentation. Not all LMD applications are the same. For this reason, MMI offers three different lasers for the cell cut system. The standard laser with a power of one microjoule is designed for fine, precise applications when using thin or sensitive samples. The universal laser is our newest laser option and the power is increased to 2 microjoules. The universal laser can be used for most thin membraned applications but also allows end users to work on thicker samples or specialized filters used to sort cells or ablation of cells from glass slides. I'm sure there are other applications as well. The high power laser, which is considerably higher power than the standard or universal, is for dissection of thick samples, 
along with things like cell ablation. So, what kind of slides do we use? The MMI cell cut uses what we call a membrane slide. Membrane slides are the same size as normal 1x3 glass slides, but are made of metal and have a special membrane across the majority of the working area of the slide. The membrane slides can be cleaned and sterilized before use, if needed, and are otherwise used in the same way a glass slide is used. Samples can be prepped and mounted onto the membrane slide, just like they would on a glass slide. The membrane slide sits on the motorized microscope stage, usually on top of a glass slide, and is ready for observation and dissection. For fluorescence applications, there is a low autofluorescence version of the membrane slide available. Okay, to retrieve the dissected tissue sections or cells, the MMI cell cut uses an efficient method of sample collection that does not touch or contaminate the dissected tissue and allows you to neatly organize the sections as they are captured. The cell cut has a robot that holds and controls a special MMI tube with a cap that has a slightly sticky surface. Different cap sizes are available for different applications. The system automatically retrieves one or many dissected areas by gently touching the cap to the membrane surface. The dissected area is lifted off the slide and is now adhered to the cap. For certain applications, a multi-cap system may be required. It is important to note that the cap never touches the sample. The cap touches the membrane. The sample is on the other side of the membrane. Let's take a look at how this works. Here, we see a cap retrieve two dissected sections from two different slides. As mentioned, the samples will be arranged in a neat and orderly fashion on the cap surface. MMI calls this capability PTP, or Positive Target Positioning. In this case, we see several hundred samples collected and organized in columns and rows. Another benefit of the CAP methodology of sample retrieval is the ability to view and examine the sample immediately after it has been captured. To determine if you've captured the sample you're interested in, you can confirm it right away without having to guess or hope. The cap surface can easily be examined with the microscope. Here we see an example of this. The selected area is dissected. The dissected area can be moved and viewed with the microscope. So, the MMI cell cut plays a big role in moving cell isolation workflow downstream in a fast and efficient manner. From sample or slide preparation, to identification, to dissection, to cell capture in a laboratory tube, researchers have the ability to move on to other stages of their workflow, other stages of their research, with a captured cell or cells in a familiar laboratory tube. The MMI cell cut gets researchers to the important part of their work quickly and easily. There are some advanced features of the MMI cell cut. We'll take a look at a few of them here. The first advanced feature we'll look at is the MMI cell cut's ability to dissect sections from unstained tissue samples. There are applications where the staining of tissue has a negative impact on the quality or health of that tissue. Therefore, it is necessary to identify and dissect cells that are difficult to detect or are virtually invisible. With the MMI cell cut system, we can use three concurrent serial sections to address this. The three sections are cut and mounted to three membrane slides. One of these three sections is stained. This section we'll call our map. The slides are placed on the cell cut microscope and we use the cell cut software called Cell Explorer to mark three points on the stained tissue. The cell or areas to be dissected are identified and traced. 
The software will then transfer the three points and the three trace shapes to the unstained slides. The cell cut then moves to the two unstained slides and cuts the areas identified on the stain slide. The unstained cells are captured via the cap and tube system and the researcher has successfully dissected specific unstained slides from the sample. Here we see images used when capturing unstained tissue sections with the MMI cell cut. The top two images show us the unstained and stained sections. We'll remember that the stained section is our roadmap, while the unstained section is the section we'll dissect. The bottom left image shows us the dissected section from the unstained tissue sample. The bottom right section shows us an overlay of the unstained dissected tissue on top of the stained tissue. This confirms the accuracy of our dissection. Now we'll discuss another advanced application that allows end users to neatly and cleanly cut very thick samples. It is called the Z-Drill method. When we are working with sections that are very thick, perhaps 100 microns or more, the MMI cell cut's Z-Drill function becomes useful. The system identifies tissue the same way we've discussed but we now identify the thickness of the tissue and set our Z-drill to cut the entire thickness of the selected region. It does this with multiple precise cuts in the same location. When all the cuts are completed, the cap system lifts the thick tissue section off the membrane slide in the same way we described earlier. The Z-drill is another example of the flexibility of the MMI cell cut system. Now, another advanced feature we'll review is the MMI cell cut's ability to dissect live cells. The MMI cell cut gives researchers the ability to culture and laser microdissect live cells from culture dishes. The cells are cultured as they normally would be, except they are cultured in a special membrane bottom dish. The membrane is the same type as we see on slides we discussed earlier. The membrane bottom dish is placed in a plastic 35 millimeter dish with a sticky bottom on the inside. This dish will assist us in removing and isolating the dissected cells and will also provide rigidity and protection during the culture. When ready, the sticky bottom dish with the membrane bottom ring inside are placed on the MMI cell cut microscope stage. From this point forward, the dissection process is very much the same as how we dissect tissues from the membrane slides. Cells of interest that are sitting on the membrane are identified and dissected. The ring is removed and the isolated cells remain on the bottom of the sticky bottom dish. The membrane bottom dish can be reused for further or cul continued cultivation of the cells or for future dissections. So, as you can see, with the MMI system, we now have the ability to conduct laser microdissection in a live cell sample. We can do our live cell dissection with confidence as the dish can remain covered at all times to reduce contamination risk. The cells are always visible via the microscope. The cells will experience low stress when being dissected because of the low power required to do the dissection. And the cells will remain in the same dish environment they were in prior to dissection. The cells are dissected, but never actually need to be moved. Another option when working with and dissecting live cells is to use and dissect from a multi-well membrane-bottomed IBIDI slide. Cells can reside in individual wells. They can then be dissected and isolated via the cap system used for the normal membrane-based slides discussed earlier in this video. For sensitive or longer term live cell dissection applications on the MMI cell cut, researchers may require a climate controlled system to keep the cells healthy and alive. For this, MMI offers an optional climate controlled, filtered, and CO2 controlled incubator for the cell cut system. 
The incubator is mounted onto the microscope and over the cell cut stage. Researchers now have a way to conduct long-term dissection applications, for example, the dissection of several thousand cells over several hours. That ends this video about the MMI cell cut. Thank you for watching and for your interest in the MMI cell cut. If you have any questions, please visit us at www.molecular-machines.com or email us at sales underscore us at molecular-machines.com. Thank you.